Hello Scorpio, how are you today? Welcome to the channel, my name is Donna. We're doing a Thoughts, Feelings, and Intentions Celtic Cross for you. This is going to be read like a love relationship, but it could be any relationship that you're coming to ask about. Ten of Wands, Scorpio, Scorpio, your person is feeling guilty, they're feeling burdened, they feel overwhelmed, they have tremendous feelings of love and affection for you. They've been holding back, and now they want to come forward towards you. So we see this person is coming in with Knight of Cups energy, an offer of love, perhaps something very romantic, a romantic date, a love letter, a bouquet of roses, a date, a nice picnic, a nice outing. At the bottom of the reading, what is bringing this person into this alignment? We have King of Pentacles energy. They feel as though you have the potential to become a long-term love interest. When we get King of Pentacles energy, this person really feels that you are worth the effort, that you are a high-value woman or man. They feel as though they want to invest in a long-term relationship with you. This energy is all about stabilization, growing in abundance, in wealth, in love, and everything that they value. You represent stability. They want to give you stability, and they are very well-intentioned towards you. It looks like this person probably works a lot, uh, but they're a pretty enthusiastic person. I, I like the energy. They have a good outlook on life. They feel like it's filled with flowers and how Taurian in terms of energy. In the recent past, this person was holding back with you. The Four of Pentacles is all about uh, being very serious about a relationship, not investing until they're ready, taking a wait-and-see attitude, uh, holding their thoughts, feelings, and intentions very close to the vest, being somewhat of a chess player in a very nice way, nothing meant to you know, be difficult for you or anything else. So let's see what we have the tower card. So the tower card is that there's something that has happened in this relationship that has made them realize that if they don't move forward more quickly, that chances are you are going to, you know, leave them alone. The, the tower card is a lack of stability. It, they, this person is not really good at that. They're having the sudden realization let's see what that realization is we're going to go ahead and do a clarifier right here what is that tower card representing <laughs> the sudden realization that they should not hold back that if they hold back you're an empress in status and that if they were to hold back somebody else could come along and sweep you off your feet in the near future what can we expect from this person Nine of Cups, introducing you to all of your friends if you have not already met them. This person wants to eat, drink, be merry, show the finer things of life, travel, make love, but they want it to be all about you. They feel very much like you are their best friend, you are their wish fulfillment, and in fact, that is the Fairy Godmother, Fairy Godfather card of the Zodiac. So in terms of their near future actions, we see them building on this uh, Knight of Cups energy, you know, uh, want, being very proud of you, just really wanting you to, uh, wanting to introduce you to everybody that they know, to have fun, to be in the middle of a crowd of people with you. In terms of how they approach you, we get... In the future, we get High Priestess. The High Priestess is Cancerian energy. This person has very, very deep emotions. They're very nurturing. This is a person who's very intuitive. They may have a Pisces energy in their chart, um, but we, we see somebody who has a tendency very much to not say a lot. They have a tendency to show how they feel by their actions. They don't say a lot. They don't make a lot of promises. They have a wait-and-see attitude. But they're very emotional. They feel as though you're, you are the ship that is arriving in the harbor. Whoops, whoops, a daisy. have lots and lots of cards that fell. One second, I'll be right back. How they're viewing you in this situation, how you're interacting with them, what they're thinking. Let's see what we've got here for you. Mm, this one feels stuck. <laughs> well, no wonder it feels stuck. It's a hanged man. They really can't read you. Your person cannot read you. 
They know that you're hanging out with them. You're really not doing much. You're an Empress Energy. You are allowing them to do whatever they're going to do to woo you, to come forward to you. You're being very strategic. The Queen of Wands is a strategy card. Uh, being very smart, very discreet. You know, you're taking action by having a plan of action. And so your plan of action is to be, to allow them to just wait, take a wait and see attitude. That's a good strategy, especially when you're in the Empress energy. So let's see what we have for your short-term outcome at this time in this thoughts, feelings, intentions. Devil card. Your person is obsessed with you, okay? I'm not fond of the devil card. It usually means somebody is very controlling. And sometimes people who are hell-bent on having you in their lives will, you know, control everything. They'll keep you so busy that you don't have time to go you know, play with other people, so to speak, but we're going to clarify as always. Let's see what's going on here. What's the Ten of Wands represent in this connection? Why is this person feeling a little overwhelmed? What is going on? Tell us the story of their feeling of overwhelmment. The World card. Okay, so it does look like they're very successful. They've been working on, I think, a very large project and whatever they're doing, the strategy of the work they've been doing is coming to fruition. We're, they're not in the learning stages anymore. They're very much in um, a manifestation mode in terms of their money, in terms of their coin. They have a lot of clarity about their goals. Um, but, you know, they're looking for empress status. This is a person who wants to really step up here. Mother of Cups, this is a person who wants to be with somebody who would like a family, somebody who is also shares goals, somebody who has, uh, you know, some accomplishments under their belt. When we get the Tower card, it looks as though there was an argument, a disagreement. There was something that they did that uh, looks like it may have upset you. The Six of Swords is them wanting to heal that. The Tower card is usually an argument, a squabble, something that was said that, you know, is sort of unbecoming. Uh, but the Three of Wands, they see you as their person. So why is it what was that argument about let's see what is this argument about what is that tower card about ah time to make a choice okay so either you or this person has decided that you need to go from the two of wands to the three of wands this, this business of dating multiple people is out of the question right now moving this forward uh, moving the relationship forward with the six of swords um, you've chosen. This person's chosen you. They're hoping that you chose you choose them. So what do we have here for the High Priestess energy? I don't clarify the cards that are pretty straightforward here. I only clarify those which look, you know, like they could have several meanings. Nine of Swords, they're all in their head and they are not speaking. So it also looks as though this person thought they were dating you exclusively only to learn that you're open to other people. We can see that with the hanged man. You're like, mm, do, 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 do. I'm over here kind of just waiting to make a decision is how they're viewing you. So why are they all up in their head? Let's see what we have. The queen of swords energy. Well, you know, you're making a head over heart decision. And in essence, you know, you are very much in this Libra energy. You're not really going to hang around for something that's too frivolous you you want something that's very serious you're the empress the hanged man why are you in the hanged man position why are you in that position five of cups this person has disappointed you um you know we're seeing that you feel that they owe you an apology they haven't made you much of an offer it's been very low-key daughter of pentacles is page page energy is all they've presented the Six of Swords, you're definitely moving forward. You know, you want somebody who comes forward with a lot more positive energy. But when we look at the King of Pentacles, this is somebody who's... Um, I, I, selfish is the wrong word, but the King of Pentacles is laser-focused on what's good for them. And they have a tendency not to make a commitment until they're completely all in. And what I'm seeing with you is that's not going to really fly with you. 
you want to date them exclusively you don't want anything in the way i'm not I, it looks like they focus solely on you however it looks like they really haven't given you much of an indication of what they think about the relationship and uh, you're just moving on you're moving on you're moving up you know we have the six of swords here twice so oh six of wands excuse me you want a victory uh, and you are you will move on if you don't get the victory so why do we have the feminine king of wands and the hidden energy temperance card this person will do almost anything to balance things out they don't want you to go anywhere they want to make amends they want to give you an apology does look like you're waiting for one with that hanged hanged man energy what we have the devil card here devil devil why is the devil card here is the outcome Ooh, somebody said something that was a little too sharp-tongued now when i get the the uh, knight of swords i'm going to tell you straight up my experience personally and historically with my clients of that card is when people say really ridiculous things that are very cutting that is a runs with scissors card and this person has a tendency to want to be in control and sometimes they say things that they think are going to bring you into alignment or somehow intimidate you i mean and i'm going to tell you straight up the thing that said, I remember doing a reading for myself and I knew that the guy was seeing, was going, he had the Knight of Swords. So I thought, oh my God, what is he going to say to me? And when I requested that he come and meet my girlfriends who were in from all over the country to come to a little like get together before we went to the racetrack on a girl's outing just to say hi to everybody he didn't want to come and instead of saying you know what i'd feel really uncomfortable that no he got really ugly with me it ended the relationship he actually said to me if i come to your party i'll chase your girlfriends and he thought that he was going to manipulate me or control me he thought he was going to have some sort of weird victory or subjugate me well needless to say that ended our relationship I would never put up with that. That's nonsensical. It's crazy and it's toxic. So I just want you to be aware that when we get devil energy, we get tower cards, we get knights of swords. It's people who are saying things that are, you know, re really reveal the inner core of where they're going to go if things are negative. The five of coins energy they want to come in from out of the cold hence your apology they realize that you are an empress you are not some little you know you're not a flaky person ten of swords energy yeah so what i'm seeing here is that you are happy to end this you know you're willing to give up the burden you're certainly not going to put up with uh, somebody saying anything to manipulate you you know you're just you're chill you're beautiful you're kind you're loving it shows up in the cards in a profound way and at the end of the day you know you're just not going to choose somebody who has that devil energy the devil energy primarily in my practice over all the years i've been doing readings which is 30 years is always the energy of somebody who wants to be large and in charge they want to control even if they do it with kindness it will eventually spill over into something a little more unpleasant so here we go it's sort of my way or the highway that's another way to put it so let's see what we have for you here scorpio happy family a happy family is what this person wants you know looks like they're not very good at getting what they want with you anyway uh look at that storm warning there you go there's your tower card a storm has suddenly arisen when we get the tornado it comes up you know it's always usually a shock it's very destructive and we get that you you know this person has appreciation for you they do see you as a goddess you know uh and they also the garden and the gate we kind of have that twice four pentacles the garden and the gate so i'm going to leave it there because this is a decision that you're going to need to make for yourself uh sending you love from chicago send some back please like uh, subscribe share and comment if you would be so kind if you'd like to support the channel thank you so much scorpio much love my friends